Hi guys, I'd like to start by thanking our backers for their support. We've been getting a lot of queries about the workflow for the Brahma. Here's a small video we've made to show it. Let's start with the simplest. This is the Brahma built into the Zoom. All you have to do is press record and it will record four channels of A format audio. This is the Brahma standalone mounted on a mic stand or camera. Then you connect an Amphenol 5-pin connector to the standalone. The other end goes into the Phantom Box, which has four mini XLRs on the other side. These end in regular XLRs. They go into any four-channel recorder. For customers buying the Brahma standalone with the external modified zoom, we take the Amphenol 5-pin connector and connect it to the zoom. Then we power up and press record. Four channels of A format audio are recorded. The last step is to take your SD card out and transfer the files to your computer. The next step is you launch the Brahma Volvo, which is provided free with our microphones. The filter files unique for each microphone are preloaded. After that, you select files from the SD card. You have an option to output it as four mono files, which is what most Ambisonic softwares need. Once this has been selected, Press start by clicking the X button. As you can see, the files have been converted to B format. And we are done. Now we can launch one of the many processing softwares for B format files. These are very often open source and free softwares. Here we are using Reaper. You can load the B format files you had created earlier. Then we launch the VV mic plugin to work on the acoustics of our recording. We'll demonstrate with the stereo image. Here we change the direction of the sound, the angles between the microphones, and here the elevation of the microphone, and lastly alter the pickup pattern from omni to cardioid to figure of eight. Another optional plugin is Wigware, from which you can output to any number of speakers. Another optional software is the Harpix B, which also allows you to choose various playback formats and microphone patterns. Thanks for your time. That was a quick run through the workflow. If you have more questions, email us.